Hello, my name is Marvin Marshall here from the Space Report News. Welcome aboard. Today we are embarking on a journey into the science and truth behind Starship admissions. This topic has sparked a lot of debate and understandably so. As we aspire to reach out into the cosmos, it's essential that we do so responsibly. That is why today we are devoting this episode to a much requested topic, the environmental impact of SpaceX's Starship. This complex issue has numerous aspects to consider, so let's take a step back and break it down together. When you watched Starship launch, you probably noticed that brown exhaust billowing out and thought, well, that can't be good for the environment, and it's an understandable assumption. But the reality is a little more complex. The color you see is actually due to several factors, including the chemical composition of the fuel and the lighting conditions. But What's actually in that plume, and is it as bad as it seems? To unravel this mystery, we need to understand the rocket propellants and the substances that go into these incredible machines. And it's not just about what they are, but how they behave when burned in a rocket engine. So, what actually fuels a rocket? Well, rockets like SpaceX's Starship use a combination of liquid oxygen and methane. Yes, methane. That might raise eyebrows because methane is a potent greenhouse gas. However, when burned efficiently in a rocket engine with oxygen, the primary byproducts are carbon dioxide and water vapor. Now, you might be thinking, isn't CO2 a greenhouse gas too? Well, absolutely. But the quantities that we're discussing here are crucial. It's these quantities in relation to other human activities that put the impact of rocket launches into perspective here. Let's talk numbers for a moment here. The global aviation industry contributes about 2% of all human-induced CO2 emissions. In contrast, the space industry's contribution is considerably less at 0.01%. This tells us that while rocket launches are visually dramatic, and well, let's admit it, really fun to watch, they represent a tiny fraction of all human-caused emissions. But we should be clear that we're not saying that this small percentage is insignificant. You know, on the contrary, it highlights the need for the space industry to continuously innovate and find ways to reduce its environmental impact. Now that brings us to the exciting part, the future. The space industry is committed to reducing the environmental impact. Take SpaceX's Starship for example here, designed for full reusability, this revolutionary design dramatically cuts down on waste compared to single-use rockets. Plus, there's the fact that methane, the fuel used by Starship, can be synthesized on Mars. That opens up the possibility for self-sustaining exploration of Mars and beyond, without the need to carry vast quantities of fuel from Earth. So, in conclusion here, space travel, like any other human activity, does have an environmental impact, but it's essential that we approach this issue with understanding and an open mind, not misconceptions. We're only just beginning to scratch the surface of space exploration, and with continuous advancements in technology, the future looks both promising and exciting. So, Keep asking questions, keep exploring, and stay curious. And don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more space-related content. My name's Marvin Marshall, signing off. Until next time.